What can you do with old power adapters lying around? Please, do not throw them away. You can reuse an old power adapter by repurposing it into a versatile power source. Let's cook something good by using an old power adapter. Place an old power adapter first. Vacuum tube. Switches. And add some ingredients. This is the result of cooking. It's the 12AU7 single-ended stereo amplifier. The power output is only 320 milliwatts, however it's a sufficient volume for small rooms. It delivers clear sound. The B plus voltage is supplied by a DC-DC converter, so no high voltage power transformer is needed. This amplifier has a Bluetooth module. So, you can listen to music wirelessly from your phone or portable music player. This is the front of the amplifier. From left to right, the main power switch, Bluetooth power switch, and volume control. This is the back of an amplifier. The auxiliary port is located on the upper right corner. A DC power jack for a power adapter is located on the bottom of the amplifier. I used these items from Dollar Store to make an amplifier enclosure. A cookie pan is for a cosmetic purpose enclosure. A craft box for the output transformer cover. Let's watch the quick demo of the amplifier. The audio recording is from a speaker line to a camera.
This diagram shows connections between three modules and an amplifier. I added a simple RC ripple filter between DC-DC converter and an amplifier. This is the earliest version of the schematic diagram of the amplifier. I made some changes after testing. I will show you a revised schematic diagram towards the end of this video. I used the Bogan T725 line matching transformer. It's not Hi-Fi Audio Output Transformer. The only reason I used is that it's not expensive and I can get it easily. This is the inside of an amplifier chassis. This is the LM317 adjustable voltage regulator module. It provides 5 volt DC to the Bluetooth module. This is Bluetooth stereo receiver module. This is the high voltage boost DC DC converter. This is the parts layout. The three modules are installed on the rear side of the chassis. The tube amplifier is located on the front side of the chassis. Now, let's check the frequency response for the initial version of the amplifier. Which means, B plus voltage is 150 volts, and the cat hood resistor of the output stage is 470 ohms. The signal generator sends a sine wave at a constant amplitude across the testing frequency range. This is a result. It's about from 110 Hz to 20 kHz at minus 3 decibel point. Based on this result, I made some modifications marked in yellow. The B plus voltage is 180 volts. The cat hood resistor is 1.5 kilo ohms. I also added a 100 microfarad cat hood bypass capacitor. A good thing about this set is easy to change the B plus voltage. This is the frequency response after modification. The green line is after modification, which improves the frequency response. The frequency response is now from 90 Hz to 20 kHz at minus 3 decibel point. The waveform is distorted when the volume control is after 3 o'clock position. So, 
I added the negative feedback resistor here. This is the waveform after I added a negative feedback resistor. This is a result of the frequency response. A blue line is before modification. A green is after modification. And the pink is with a negative feedback resistor. This is a revised schematic diagram. This is a revised parts layout. Now, let's see how I built the amplifier while listening to music through this tube amplifier. <laughs> 